What is going on guys? This is Lost Yeti here and today we are in for a different episode. Today we are going to be modding my Game Boy Advance. So what we're going to be doing to this Game Boy Advance is we're going to be first actually swapping out the shell. So we're going to be going over to a, a, a light blue shell which I'm quite excited for as well as we are going to be installing pink buttons, white membrane, a replacement glass screen, and then to top it all off, we're going to actually be installing a Game Boy Advance IPS LCD screen, and this is actually going to allow us to get video out from our Game Boy. Now first, that's gonna mean where we have to actually take our Game Boy Advance apart. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip this guy over and take out the batteries and then use a tri-wing screwdriver, tri-wing which is well, excuse me for bumping the camera. Tri-wing screwdriver, which is going to look something like this to actually take this guy apart. Taking the screwdriver, we're going to want to take out each and every one of these screws hanging out on the back, and then that's going to allow us to remove our back plate. After taking the back plate off, it's going to reveal our ribbon cable as well as our three Phillips head screws. What we're going to want to do is gently remove the ribbon cable with the installation of the new screen, we're gonna have a new ribbon cable, a new screen. So we won't necessarily need the old one, but it's still important to be gentle with these parts. And then we're gonna take a screwdriver and take out those three screws I mentioned. Next, we're gonna to wanna to turn our attention to our board. We're gonna to wanna to solder each of the red cables provided in the kit to the board by first adding a dab of solder to the board itself and then moving the wire into position. Reheating the solder allows you to get the seal without too much hassle but take your time, this process can be pretty hard and a bit tedious. Don't rush it, it's most important to do it right. This is sped up just to kind of get the point across. But again guys, take your time, do it right if you're doing this at home. With everything soldered to the board, we're now gonna turn our attention to the case. With the case, we already have a case that's pre-cut to our screen, so this is a pretty easy install and it should slide right into place. Then, we're gonna take the plastic film which prevents the board from shorting on the screen and attach that to the back of the screen. Then, mocking it up as if this is the final installation, we're gonna put our circuit board on the back of our display and run our ribbon cable. Once the ribbon cable's in, we can then take our next steps to soldering our cables from our circuit board to the Game Boy's board. You're gonna to want to solder the wires as follows, L to TP9, R to TP8, SEL to TP2, AV to pin 3, and G to ground. Then comes the reassembly process. Pretty straightforward if you made it this far. We're just replacing all of the gray pieces that we previously had with the pink. The gray membranes we're reusing from the previous shell because you're not going to see that kind of thing. And it all goes together pretty darn easily. Closing up the back of the shell with the screws. I won't show you all the screws. You get the kind of gist of what's going on taking off the protective layer over the screen before putting in our very own glass screen as a nice last touch. And then the moment you've been waiting for, let's see if we can actually get video out from our Game Boy. Got it all mocked up, plugged in. I have tape holding down the left and right hand bumpers just so I can do this one handed. I'm holding down the select button and I'm boot up. It should boot right into the game just like that, beautiful. So now we can actually record directly from our Game Boy Advance. Let's check out some gameplay footage. Alrighty guys, so this is what the video capture actually looks like. Uh, as you can see, it immediately will capture out from the device to whatever you're recording with. And this is done thanks to a little adapter running to my Elgato HD60S. Now it's not the best setup you could probably have, but uh, it does work and honestly now with the price of some of the other options out there Getting up there. This might be the best way For capturing the Game Boy Advance if you actually want to do it on real hardware alternatively, I suppose you could use uh, the GameCube with the Game Boy adapter um, Or Game Boy player as it is called but this is another way of doing it, and I'm super glad to be able to use my handheld 
to record some gameplay footage for the channel so keep your eyes posted and subscribe if you want to see some gameplay from my Game Boy Advance on this channel um, and if you're coming here from already checking out one of the videos uh, welcome and this is how it's all done alrighty guys I think that's where we're gonna be calling this episode I hope you guys did enjoy if you did consider leaving a like on the episode and I will catch you guys in the next episode on the channel I'll see you then.